Saiga Uppercut was officially the final TWT event for this year until the finals in December. So the next few weeks or couple of months are going to be dry in terms of tournaments or at least TWT events. So that got me thinking because I haven't really covered that many last players on my channel in terms of the matches I break down. I have covered a bunch of different Steve players, Raven players, Leroy players, but Lars, I've only covered Kaizoku Lars and Nobi. So that got me digging and I found this. Ethan 16 who is apparently a goated last player from the UK going up against Daniel Mado he is of course the legendary Daniel Mado Jean player from Italia very strong player and Ethan is new to me first time hearing about this player and I just skimmed through the match a bit and this man was cooking his last is ridiculously strong so this was at a tournament called NBA Pro Series. I'm not really sure where it's held, where it was. Everything is new to me, so like, let's just get it, bro. And of course, Daniel Mado picked Dragonov first. Of course, this character is OPAF right now. And Lars vs. Drag is, is not bad, but of course, Drag is the best character in the game. Very difficult to deal with, oppressive. Like, this man needs to be nerfed. I love Drag, but Jesus Christ, it's too much. We need the nerfs, Namco. So, it's not a bad matchup. Like, of course, Drag is the best, but it's not a bad matchup because Lars has a very strong Orthanding punish for that down two. Orthanding two, three hurts. Takes you into AoE as well. Right? And I just say, I just, as I say that, he does it immediately. Okay, DE3 into SE3 plus 4. Okay, nice. So, there we go. Again, right? Okay, forward, forward, for two. Nice into DE1, two. Frame trap, of course. Uh, forward forward 4 to being plus 9. You can't really press that many buttons. He also has that DE2 for a counter it frame trap setup. So, yeah, pretty good frames. Like last dude, oh my days, a step. Yeah, you delay that move. Side step is a very strong option against it. Dude, I love already, dude. Like already, bruh. This is how I play my Lars. I love his wall standing 2 mix ups. Wall standing 2 is really strong in Tekken 8 because it has layers of mix ups. Wall standing 2 3 being mid high. Orthanding to 1 being mid mid, Orthanding 2 being able to go into SE as well. Guys, use your Orthanding 2s. Very strong layer of mix ups. The down back 1 got disrespected. Okay, drops the combo. Oh my days. Oh my days. Get off the floor, bro. What you doing on the ground? Get up. Okay. Spacing. There we go. As I spoke about layer of mix ups, we went for the Orthanding to 1. Oh my goodness. Dragon of BS, the sidestep. Dude, last the power crash is kinda ass. There's one buff I want for our boy. It's a decent power crash, bro. Like his power crash has been ass since Tekken 7. I, I'm surprised I haven't really given him anything better. Considering they gave Lo a very good power crash, right? Okay, D3 plus 4. Nice into LE cancel full crash there 1 plus 2. Gets interrupted by Dragon of 1 to 1. Okay, spacing. D3. Like, just do it, bro. Like, DA3 is good, like, just do it, right? I love Ethan already. Love this man's power crash. Okay, works out this time. Nice, DA3 plus 4 into a power crash, bro. It was blocked as well, so that was a good play. Ah, our bro did get cooked up. That was kind of quick, not gonna lie. Let's bring it back. Okay, nice too. Spacing. Down for 1. 2 1, cancel, whiffs. Other into again. Ooh, Daniel Mado ducked for his life. Dude, he said, fuck your plus frames, boy. Get out of here. Screw to the wall. Eh? 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 One million damage because drag and off, bro. It's just drag. What you gonna do? Okay, doesn't duck. Down for one. Two one into Schmix. Okay, doesn't duck this time. Dude, he's, he's disrespect on down two, bro. Also, ending two. Like, also, ending two is good as well because it's a tracking move in general. That's pretty good tracking both sides. So, Dragonovs do love down two on hit into side step back four three or like a side step punish. So, also, ending two is a good option as a tracking move, right? Of course, if Drag there's also, ending four, you will lose. Okay. The break from the throws. Down for one. Ah, one to one. He also has a 10 frame hit engager. Counter hit confirmable. You hate to see it, right? Although Lars is better in my opinion. Easier to hit confirm or counter hit confirm. The plus frames. The plus frames. What's turning to again? A disrespect. He went for parry, dude. He's been doing it so much, he decided to go for parry. But Ethan goes for full crouch down on plus two. Like, I love this kind of shit in Tekken, but like, guys making reads on each other. It definitely looks like these guys play with each other, though, right? They, they seem to be very familiar with each other. So they might be like. 
Trading partners, nice duck on the back for three. Yeah, he's been doing that shit so much. Out of the wall. Uh, burn that shit. Nice. Uh, 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 uh. Shout out. Okay, Zeme. Oh, the get up kick. Nice. One, one, one. Get out of here with that bow. Shit. Nice. Let's go, Let's go, Ethan. Yeah, as I talked about it, just that's standing down two, it was standing four. Back four, three mix ups, bro. So annoying, so strong. D3 again, the delay, no step this time. Okay, down for one, back four. Okay, back four again, dude. This guy is a large main, he is a large main through and through. I can just tell, bro. Nice DE12, amazing move to burn your hit. Gels, of course. Eh, shout out, okay, Zeme. Okay, patience this time. 4 to 1 cancel. What's the for? Nice. Down for 1. Closes it out. Let's go, Ethan. Sheesh. Son of Tendo. <laughs> Long live. Like in the bloodline, bro, with the numeric values, bro. Like, what's going on? Last means. Do these numeric values mean something? Is that like a last count or some shit? I want in. I want in. Hit your boy up. Nice. Nice. Set up. 3 plus 4. Spacing. You love to see it. So moves that create space are very good setups for arc blast. So moves like four four one plus two, last three plus four here, as you see here. Very strong arc blast setups. Nice to the wall. Uh -uh. Screw, burn it. Oh, misses the high wall split combo. No, one four doesn't go for LE. Dragon of mix ups. Ah, oh floats the DE three. Yeah, you have to be careful using that move at close range. Down back for counter the first time he does it. This is what I say about last players, guys. You don't really spam down back for that much. As strong as the move that it is, Lars is a very risky character, and that's one of the moves that every player looks for against Lars. That down back four. So I have to be very careful on how you throw it out. You saw him throw out a lot of down back one on its own because that's like a server version on how you poke with Lars. Then threw out the down back four when Daniel Mado least expected it, bro. This man is a last player. And he is cooking. Yo, what the hell? Does that hit? Yo, what the hell was that? Want to do that much damage because it's an air float, of course. Yeah, not much damage. Ethan, will you bring it back? Oh, hit smash. Guess for your life. Hitty, hitty. No duck. Two one cancel. Punish that. No. No. Double one three. LE mix ups. Nice. Let's go. Ethan. Sheesh. Oh, switches immediately. Oh, nice. Okay, so guys, I'm watching this from uh, the Tekken Pros channel. One of those channels that covers like random matches online or pro player matches and tournaments. So, I don't know how you feel about that ch how, how you feel about those channels. But since I'm reacting to it, I have to show some love. So, make sure you subscribe to him, of course. Okay, so Jin versus Lars. Uh, Jin is Daniel Mado's main. And Jin versus Lars is very... I don't want to say one-sided, but it's very difficult. Because you have to worry about that Jin parry. Kind of the same way you have to worry about Yoshi's flash, right? So going for SE mix-ups isn't really that clean against Jin because he does have a goddamn parry. So you have to bait out the parry and stuff like that. It's a very annoying matchup, so to speak. Of course, Jin is also strong, so... As I say that, bro, as I say that he baited it and punished the parry, that's the idea behind fighting Jin with Lars. You have to look for that goddamn parry, so it becomes mind games on mind games, right? Mmm, gets a launch. That's so satisfying, bro. Like, what you doing, bro? Like, hands up. Why in the popo? Ah, shoulder. Okay, I'm standing to three. No duck. Schmix ups. Nice. Yeah, these guys play against each other, bro. They know each other. Like, what was that duck? Like, what the hell? Okay. Second round. Spacing. D3. Goes low this time. Nice. Two. Three plus four. Nice. Classic Lars down back one to full crouch. Down for a two. Dude, has he been using a lot of 4 4 plus 2s now that I think about it? Uses it for the first time here. Okay. Spacey. Duh. Back 4 again, dude. The back 4s. Nice. Ooh, these guys are fight. They are brawling, bro. Is he using a lot of 4 4 plus 2s against Jin? Is it a Jin specific thing? Nice. Spacing. Yo, shout out to Ethan. Yo, he used the, used the punish, but that was close. Nice. Ethan, you are goated. Oh my days, what a large player. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, Zeme. Nice, day three cancel. Oh, the parry. Yeah, that parry, guys, is a problem. That parry? Oh, it's so difficult. Oh, hell sweep, big sharp. Oh, what the hell? I have never seen that shit before. Yo, what the hell? 
Daniel Mato. So down for 3 3. Okay, Zeme. Wow. Oh my days. That is so good. Daniel Mado. Sheesh. I've never seen that shit before, guys. That was so good. Okay, nice break on the throw. Come back on three. Nice. Goes for three plus four. Oh, the parry on the DE3. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna suck. Okay, nice punish. Jin Okizeme. Okay. Ooh, gets a forward forward three. Horrible trade in um, Daniel Mado's favor. Burns the hit to the wall. Nice block with the down two. Nice one over three. Okay, nice. Oh, no, where's the punish? Where's the punish, Ethan? Hit. Okay, burn it. Oh, the parry. Oh, that's gotta suck, bro. I didn't even consider that, bro. Jin parrying one, one, one. Dude, Daniel fucking Mado. Holy shit, bro. What? That was sick. Okay, that's gonna suck. Okay, the flow is lava. Oh, doesn't break the throw. Oh, Oof. Okay. Tidal wave to the wall. Will he burn it here? Okay, doesn't. Come on, Ethan. Come on, bring it back. There is punish. I'll start to three. Punish that. Nice. Let's go. To the wall. Uh, 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 uh. Burn it. Okay. AOE setup. Shoulder. Okay, goes for damage instead. Back on plus two. No break on the throw again. Okay. Nice. Punish that shit. Nice. Burn it. Ooh. What's heading to? Let's go, Ethan. Brings it back. What a way to recover from that. Let's go, Ethan. Sheesh. Down back one. Nice, dude. He's spacing. It's so good. What the hell? The arc blast, man. The success rate. Okay. I need, I need to steal that. I need to steal that. So he does like down back two into SE cancel to LE Oki. Okay. So he does. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, down back to cancel. Okay. I'm stealing that. Thank you, Ethan. Back four. Okay. Oh, the four, four, three plus four. Oh, he's going to get punished for his troubles. That was a huge risk. He had a very good life lead, Ethan. Why? Why? Okay, nice burn. Nice break on the throw. No! Why? You have a life lead. Why? Ah, Daniel Mado, max damage. Oh, my days. Oh, yeah, he kind of sold. Ah, yeah, Ethan kind of sold that one, not gonna lie. But bring it back. Let's bring it back, Ethan. Uh, guys, I apologize for my dog. If you can hear barking in the background, my dog has been going off, so I apologize. Nice, back four. I see. D3 again. Oh, the sidestep. It's about mix ups. I'm gonna delay it. I'm gonna sidestep. I'm gonna just go for the DE. For the SE1, I'm gonna parry. Am I gonna go low? Like, just mix ups with Jin. It's so annoying. Oh, my days, dude. The success rate he has with Arc Blast. Like, what are the odds, dude? Okay, burn that shit. Okizeme. Uh, uh, stays on the ground. Oh, that's sick. That is sick. Now, of course, oh my days, he's getting schmixed. Of course, here you can go for like a, an LE mix up, of course, if they get off the ground, right? Uh, uh, right here. There's a mix up between the low and the mid, of course. But the, the best option is to stay on the ground for the opponent. But Ethan, knowing this, cancels his LE into a DE1 plus 2. So a DE3 plus 4, which hits grounded, then goes for a mix up afterwards. So good. Look at this. Oh, that was so clean. Dude. This one, dude, like, last players are so strong. Like, high level last players? Oof. Miss it down too. Nice with punish, Ethan. Let's get it. Sheesh. Ethan, final boss to the. Oh my days, fought four. Ooh, Arc Blast, okay, gets blocked this time. Ugh. It's weird because Jin and Lars kind of control the same space, right? The range 1.2, the forward four range, Demon Po, electric range, right? Forward forward two. Lars kind of wants to control the same space as well with DE3, forward forward one plus two. So it's kind of like a very weird matchup of who controls the space better, right? Between Jin and Lars for the power crash wait what the hell whoa 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 whoa! what the hell was that okay so he went for forward to one right forward to one into power crash went forward for oh my days oh my days daniel mado shit mm. uh, closes it out freaking gene players yeah, Jin players are hella carried. I'm sorry, Jin players. Like, I do love Jin, but y'all are carried in this game, bro. Your moves do everything. Spacing. Ethan, right? This is what last players... This is what we have to do, Jin mains. 
Like witness, oh my days, witness the brilliance of Ars last players. We have to space control this shit. We just don't have two four ones and down, you know, two one fours and down to throw out that do everything, right? Oh my days, the parry. Okay, burns it. Nice jabs. Ooh, caught him track, caught him stepping. You gotta burn it, Ethan. No. Ah. Daniel Mado, bro. Oh my days. What a player. One match away from going to grand finals, bro. Daniel Mado. Come on, Ethan. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. D3. Apollo, shut up. Sorry for my dog, guys. What's that in punish? Ooh, electric again. Down back one. Okay. Spacing, spacing. D2 D this time. Okay. Oh my days. Nice duck. Any punish is better than no punish at all. D3. Daniel Mado went for hop kick? Oh my goodness. Let's go, Ethan. Ah, uh, burn it. Nice. Final, final round. Come on, Ethan. Sheesh, dude. What a last, bro. I am blown away. His last is so good. Side step two. Nice. Into DE3 plus four. Oki gets hit by Fina forward four. Of course, like what else, right? Oki. Oh, the hills with 50 50 mix up. Man, punish that. Two one. What's that in two? Nice. Oh, that was sick. Dude, his spacing. His spacing is so OD. Like, dude, he is playing Tekken 7, bro. Like, look at this. Ah, Sidestep arc blast. Lars 101. You love to fucking see it. Let's go, Ethan. Burn that shit. Okay, Zeme. Okay. He stood up this time. Went for the mid. Doesn't burn the wall on one because he's scared of the parry. Who comes to one plus two? Nice. Close it out. Close it out. Down forward one. Sheesh, let's go, Ethan. Final, final game. Final game, boys. It was so close, Demon Po. Nice block of the down back forward. That's bold. Oh, I've talked about the parry, bro. The parry is just so strong. You have to always have that parry in mind. Daniel Madoman. Oh, my days. Look at this, guys. Mm, that's gotta suck, bro. Jin and Yoshi. These two particular characters. It's so annoying to fight against them. He's getting schmixed. Oh, our boy is getting cooked. Not like this. Come on, it's not like this. Kizeme. Like, Jin is just so. Oh, with an arc blast. Yeah, I think Daniel Mado has a read now on those arc blasts. So, man, our boy getting cooked. Come on, Ethan. Do it for the bloodline. The last blood drain. Blood drain. Okay, down for one. I saw. Ah, oh, freaking electric, bruh. Like, Jin is so simple yet effective. Like, his tools just do everything. Like, they just carry. Nice. Down back forward to down one plus two. What the hell was that? Like, why does he even have up, back, up forward two? Can someone explain to me why Jin has up forward two? Oh, my days at the wall. Yeah, man. Man, Daniel Maro is closing it out. One game away from making it to grand finals. Oh, man. Ethan, come on. No, why are you pressing buttons after that? He gets hit by forward four to the wall. What forward three? Nice, double one three. Okay. Spacing. What? He like to the jab. Oh. Oh, this is GG's in it. It's GG's. Ethan, not like this. Oh, he dropped it. Come on, let's make it. Let's bring it back. Still have rage. Still have hit. Come on. Come on. Double back one. Okay. Oh, the, no, that's GG. Yeah, immediately you see the recommended videos and you know it's GG. <laughs> oh, my dear. So there you have it, guys. Ethan 16, son of Tendo. Next in the bloodline for the crown of who has the best Lars. His Lars is kind of good. We're going to lie. His Lars is clean. His Arc Blast placements are so on point right i think i now have to cover tendo's last just to see how good he compares right so yeah guys i think i'll try to research more on ethan see if he has any other games because i really love his last he pre-cooked all things considered he cooked but of course daniel mado being one of the greatest gene players of all time yeah thank you guys for so much for watching my video if you enjoyed my last guide if you enjoyed this video i do cover last content i am a last main of course i did a guide on him as well so make sure you check that out like subscribe to the youtube jazz and yeah gg